All right. Uh, first, I'd like to apologize because my voice is going away. But before that actually fully happens, uh, and I just have weird voice cracks like a teenager, um, I wanted to show off a new update for uh, Arc Browser for Android. So I think it's really awesome. <clears throat> now, there may be some bugs and things uh, involved because it's a brand new update. A lot of stuff really going on here. And we have this kind of... Uh, it's like a... Uh, what the freak do you call it? It's uh, like a emulation station look here. It's the Arcade UI, which you can access in the Tools menu. Go to Settings. All the way down. And which one is it? It is, I believe, Global UI? No. It's the UI layout where I can see Arcade. And you select it all the way to the bottom is Arcade. And then once you do that... You come up with this. Now, this may look fairly simple and plain and stuff, but uh, you can theme this. Um, and also, here's here, a system that I've scraped, the NES. It does seem to take a while to load. It may be because of all the games I have. I have an entire ROM set on here. But here we have this cool little uh, box art stuff going on here. And we have banners and everything. It's really freaking cool. There's a description, banners. You can add music to this. That's been there for a while. But there's also video support. So you can have media videos. I don't know how to do that yet. But uh, I am looking forward to, to learning <laughs> how, to, how to accomplish that. Um, so I just thought this was cool. You can change the background, of course. You can theme, you know, you can theme this stuff. And uh, let's go into the settings and see some of the uh, things that you can do here. There's also new wizards and things, like make it easier. So we're going to add a system. Let's add a system. Let's go to getting started, actually. Let's see. Uh, let's do the getting started. I already have a lot of this set up. So you choose, you know, the layout you want. Uh, I have arcade chosen. You choose your theme directory if you have one or if you don't. Uh, you can just... Hit something like uh, don't use a theme, for now at least. And you have custom media locations. So you can choose, I guess, this is where you would put all your scrape stuff or ROM directory, theme directory. Yeah, this is all these directories. You can choose all these different directories. This is where I'm a little confused here because it says custom media directory. And then I'm like, let me click on this. I think... Yeah, <laughs> scraper database, is this a, I'm assuming this is a default scraper database or something, and you can just select all this, download banners, oh, that's another thing, here, download front box art, back box art, 3D bo box art, cart images, 3D cart images, clear logos, and download banners, so that's really cool. And you can change the size, so for space saving or whatever, you can change the resolution and it'll look for lower resolution banners and things like that. And uh, You can look for template updates, which is nice, so this way you don't have to wait for an entire update to get a template for, say, a different emulator. So if he creates a... a if uh, the developer creates a different template for, say, a RetroArch emulator or some emulator that comes up on the Play Store. You don't have to wait for a full update just to get the template or create this. You can actually just update the templates uh, if you want. So this way you don't have to create them yourself or any of that stuff. Instead of having to update the whole app, you just update. The, he'll post updates for templates. Or you can also learn how to make them yourself. It's... Um, for retro arts, it's really easy. Um, but then you can, we'll skip that because I already did, I already know there's no more uh, updates. And then it says it gets, you get to the add system part where you add your systems. So I want to add, um, hmm, what do I, what do I want to add? I want to Dreamcast. By the way, not every system here has an emulator for it on Android. It's just here 
just in case, I guess just in case when they start releasing other emulators, because obviously there's no Xbox One or 360 or whatever emulator on Android. This is just like listing as many systems as humanly possible. So if something comes out, you know, you can add it. Um, so we want to do Dreamcast. Now I'm using, right now I'm using Redream. So Redream is really easy to use. Um, it does have a paid version, but you can use it for free. Um, we're going to select our ROM directory, go up one, up one, because I'm using the SD card, and we're going to go to the ROM folder, and hit Dreamcast, and then hit select this directory. Uh, the ROM extensions are already there. If you don't um, have those ROM extensions, if they're not there, you can put them in. You just have to know what the, the extension of the file for the ROM is. And hit add. And we can add another one. But I'm going to actually get out of this. I'm going to exit the wizard. It's going to reboot. And we have a Dreamcast thing there. But I want to go ahead and scrape the Dreamcast games. I don't have a lot of them. Because I can't fit all of them <laughs> on a 128 SD, uh, gig SD card. And uh, there's only so many games that I really want, truly have to have on here. So we're going to rescan and scrape. And I want to scrape new and unscrape games only. Uh, if you don't get something, you can retry. You can also retry with different databases and things. And you can force rescraping everything, uh, or accept the ones you manually fixed, <laughs> which is what it says at the end. I'm just reading, and you rescrape -re everything. I'm just going to hit scrape new and unscrape games only, and I'm going to pause that a little bit after I start scraping some stuff. So I'm going to go to Dreamcast, and now we're scraping Dreamcast games. It sees them. It's uh. I believe it's set to launch box. So far, I've had the best luck with the launch box uh, scraping thingy. So I'm going to. Okay, so now we're doing Virtual Fighter, and I'm going to pause and come back to you and show it to you. Okay, I kind of lied about that, but I just remembered. I also broke out my Shield tablet the other day. Oh, actually, like last week, and started loading it up with games and things. And I purchased a new iPega telescopic controller to replace the one that no longer charges for me. Um, so I picked this one up. And I don't know if you can see this. Here we go. And now I've got the update running on the Shield tablet. And here's the Dreamcast games that, I said, that I'm scraping right now. I scraped them on here. And now we have all that Dreamcast, that cool stuff there. Because some things aren't fully scraped. I will say that I had to actually delete the data of the, uh, of the, the, um, bleh. <laughs> I had to delete all the data from the, uh, the, the, the Arc browser, um, in order to, for it to scrape properly. Um, so I did have to re, I do have to redo everything. I did spend hours and hours setting this up, and now I have to redo it. But because of the way it looks, it's worth it to me. So, um, Everything's good. We have our Dreamcast going. Oh, and that's another thing. If you let it sit for a little while, it has like an attract mode thing where it just goes through different, uh, different, uh, whatchamacallits. Sorry for the shaky stuff. I'm um, just trying to hold this in front of the camera while that's scraping and stuff. But yeah, if you leave it sit for a little while, it'll start actually just going through the, through the game. So you can, you can adjust it and change how you know, the different durations of everything. And see, it goes through that. I, I will have to rescrape House of the Dead too, I guess. Uh, but that's okay. We'll get that done. And I could more than likely get some... Uh... Oh, we're going to stop. Okay. Apparently I need to start recording again. All right. Uh, <laughs> back to this. So we're... We're basically going to have that going on and I forgot what I was talking about 
but I want to get some music going on this. I already have some music, but I, I'm really excited for this. Uh, you know, I had the Shield tablet sitting around doing nothing in a drawer because it simply couldn't do the simplest tasks, like browsing the internet and watching YouTube videos. But oddly enough, no matter what, it, it seems like the, the emulation performance is top-notch. It can run Saturn perfectly. It runs everything except you can't web browse properly or watch YouTube videos. I don't understand that, but whatever. Omicron works. I had That was my launch title that I got with the Dreamcast. I, hate, I didn't think it was a good game, but I was blown away by the graphics, which I now think look horrible. <laughs> um, and I could not understand the game worth a shit. But there it is. It works. <laughs> um, I was playing it the other day and, had, again, had no clue what the hell I was doing. Um, so, yeah. We get that. I got to get this up and running with some, some video files and stuff. But the, you know what? Uh, eat it, Retro X. <laughs> uh, no, no, um, you buy this as a one-time fee. It's amazing. You don't get, you don't have to pay, like, fucking... Uh, however much money a year or two years to get these these types of things so screw off retro x i hate you <laughs> okay so thank you for watching you can check this out download it uh it is a paid app but it's a one-time fee and it is awesome and uh once you actually get into the meat and potatoes of it you should have something a lot better than this and it's awesome Thank you for watching.